Song Play. Let's go to Song Play mode. The Korg PA300 has the ability to play several types of song files. Standard MIDI files, karaoke MIDI files, and even MP3 files. Plus, it is designed so that playing these files is integrated smoothly into your performance in a useful and flexible way. The files are played directly from the internal media or from media inserted into the USB host port of the PA300. As mentioned at the start of this video, if you want to follow along with this exercise, you'll need a USB flash drive with a MIDI file, a karaoke MIDI file, and one MP3 on it. Reach back and insert the flash drive into the USB port on the back of the instrument. Touch the player area on the screen, and the window opens to select the song you want. Currently, the internal drive is displayed, so touch here to change it to the USB drive we inserted. Touch the name of one of the MIDI files. If there are several files, you can use the scroll bar to move up and down, or touch one of the files and use the dial. Once the song is selected on the screen, touch Select, then press Start. The song is loading and playing at the same time, so it starts immediately. Press Stop. Let's look at the other transport controls. M on the screen is short for measure, displaying the measure the song is currently at. If we press Start, it will continue from the point we stopped at. The ending 1, 2, and 3 buttons are used for additional transport controls when in song play mode and sequencer mode. Pressing the Rewind button goes back one measure at a time. The Fast Forward button goes forward one measure at a time. Holding down either button scrolls quickly. This button returns the song to the first measure. All three buttons can be used while the song is playing as well. There are a few ways to adjust the tempo of a song. This is true for adjusting the tempo of styles as well. You can touch the displayed tempo twice, and a numeric keypad appears, and you can enter the tempo you want. You can hold down the shift button and use the dial, or use the dedicated tempo up-down buttons. You'll notice a lock button beside the tempo up-down buttons. Pressing this locks the tempo value and keeps that same tempo when you change to the next song or style. Tap tempo, which we used in the style chapter, can only be used to set the tempo of styles. The PA300 has several tools to interact with the song player. For example, playing along. You can quickly select one of the performances to use. Some MIDI files have lyrics embedded in them, for example, a file with a .kar extension. Let's load a .kar song into the song player, this time by pressing Song from the group of selection buttons. Press Start. To display the lyrics, press the Lyrics Score button located above the Split button. The lyrics follow along. By the way, the PA300 can even display the plus G graphical format as well as lyrics embedded in MP3s. If there are no lyrics, you have the option to have the lyrics in a text file and use a pedal or the display to advance the pages of text. This will be explained in the songbook chapter. Pressing the lyrics score button again displays a selected track's musical notation. Press exit and stop. As mentioned earlier, MP3 files can be played in song play mode as well. Select an MP3 file the same way you would a MIDI file. Press Start. Playing an MP3 on the PA300 is very flexible. Of course, you can quickly choose a performance to play along with the MP3, but there's much more. For example, you can transpose the song. or adjust the tempo. If there are lyrics embedded, pressing the Lyrics Score button will display them. Press Stop. 
This control of an MP3 allows you to take a song, adjust the tempo, adjust the pitch to a key you can comfortably sing it in, and sing along following the lyrics displayed on the screen. You'll be able to perform almost any song. Incredible power.